welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is the beautiful adita Bambo, and if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back to the family because it's all love here like if you haven't subscribed right now please do so i don't know what you're waiting for because subscribing is absolutely free just hit the subscribe button down below like this video and comment down below so my beautiful people my people I've been struggling with my intro like normally I'd come out and say hey guys <laughs> and then when I listen to myself honestly it's like I sound so annoying like hey guys welcome back to my YouTube channel <laughs> so like I'd like to re revamp Nyana, my intro I don't know what to like what do we call ourselves you know the bumble fam the bumble gang hello beautiful people I don't know like <laughs> so i want us to resolve this as soon as possible so please let me know on the comment section what do you think my intro should go like like please i'm open to suggestions like i need your help like really 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 need your help anyway um let's get right into today's video so on today's video i decided that let me do my hospital bag like what's inside my hospital bag yeah the baby's hospital bag not my hospital bag but i'm just going to tell you what's in my hospital bag and what's in the baby's hospital bag as you guys know we're expecting a bundle of cute happiness joy laughter and yeah you've been with me through this whole journey so it's only fair to let you know Hore, what i've packed and what are we going to wear when we go to the hospital or when we are in the hospital okay um so as you can see, I bought um, this bag. Uh, I don't really like this bag, honestly. I bought it at Woolies. I think I bought most of my baby stuff at Woolies, but I was really not keen on this bag. But I just sat and thought about it, that it's so spacious and then I might need it. But I'm honestly planning to buy a second like nappy bag so that when we go shopping, when we go do lunch, me and my boys, you know, we don't carry this. Okay, we, we can only carry this to appointments to the hospital. We can only carry this to the hospital, not doing like groceries and stuff and whatnot. Okay, so this is the baby's hospital bag, as I mentioned before. Um, I'm going to unpack it and we're going to pack it together. So... Um, firstly, I've packed um, onesies. This is a onesie. How cute is this? So cute. <laughs> so cute, baby. But this is a onesie. I've packed a onesie. Um, I think I bought two of these um, on most of the baby's items. Like, I bought two of each or four of each, you know, just to be safe. Um, so there's a onesie in the bag um there are also two onesies this one i think he's gonna come home in this one because the hospital recommended that i pack two of each well on the list there's two of each of everything you know this is the other one because he's a boy i yo guys i hope he's a boy because this is a boy in the skin so imagine i get there and then it's a girl but anyway i'm just She's, he or she will be my bundle of joy i don't care as long as the baby's healthy um honestly my expectations are just I, i'm not expecting any gender honestly as long as the baby's healthy um i've also packed another onesie so like i mentioned i've like i've packed two of each just only this one that in case it's gonna get cold i know so this one this one definitely you know if he's going to wear this i haven't decided if he's going to wear this then he's going to come home wearing this too because it's cold you know we're in the middle of winter so it's cold um i've also packed two receiving blankets um it's this one and okay focus it's this one and this one um both of them they are 
winter receiving blankets because there are two i think there's there's a summer receiving blanket and there's a winter receiving blanket so the uh the winter receiving blanket it's more it's more heavier than the summer one the summer ones are so light so this one it's so heavy you know so i packed two of receiving blankets um oh another fun fact thing is that this bag came with a changing mat for the baby so if i want to change the baby and um, i have to lie the baby on something i can lie the baby here you know so it came with the bag most of baby bags they come with uh, a changing mat okay um i've also packed two socks <laughs> guys how cute like <laughs> i want to cry this this is so cute imagine oh i've packed two socks two socks two pairs of socks you know and also i've packed um two bennies oh i bought um newborn newborn yeah, the newborn size of bennies because I know that the head is going to be so small. So I'm definitely sure that his head is going to fit in this, you know. Um, these are two bennies. Um, and also, uh, I bought these so that uh, a washing cloth. For the baby so that we when we wash the baby we have a washing cloth for him um another fun fact that i've learned because i'm a first time mom and i don't know most of the things honestly i am getting by by the grace of god honestly so when you buy um it's advisable you know i'm just it's an advice i'm not saying you should take it or not take it but when you buy like clothes for a new baby it's recommended that you buy um zero to three months other than a newborn because this babies they go they grow rapidly like they grow each and every day so you know i didn't want to buy things that he's gonna wear for just a week and then after a week i have to go back and do another shopping so no um i've bought a whole lot of stuff like not a whole lot of stuff but i got carried away because i'm so excited it's my first baby and i like i want him to get so warm so i bought leggings i bought this i bought that i bought this i bought that i bought um what are these mittens uh they're so cute especially when you go to the baby's aisle you like you can't contain yourself you're like no oh, i want this no i want that you know so yeah that's what's in the baby's bag uh Oh, also two warm blankets they only said two receiving blankets at the hospital but I'm gonna bring along this one when we come back home so that the baby's like extra warm I, I don't want mistakes you know but I bought two of these it's a baby's mink I bought two of these um, it's a white one and this one also so that the baby can get warm i i can make a mistake and also importantly yes yeah, they advise you to bring two baby vests so i bought also um, okay it doesn't want to focus so i bought pure cotton body vest um long sleeve it's a five pack but the module is um uh, all of my baby stuffs honestly i've just bought them at woolies I don't know why but it was the only store that i could think of so i'm gonna pack i'm gonna take two of these for the hospital and then i'm gonna leave two for home um i just wanted to give you an insight of what i have packed for myself um i've realized that certain um pets i'm allergic to especially the cotton ones don't like this dr white pets so when you're in the hospital they prefer that you use hospital pads or excuse me you buy hospital pads so now i decided you know what i'm gonna buy my own and i don't want to use any hospital pads 
So I bought this Carrie Rail. Hmm. Hope you can see them. I bought Carrie Rail maternity pads. Carrie Rail has everything maternity for the mom, whether it's hospital panties, whether it is um linen savers, whether it's bra, maternity bras, they have everything like they have you covered as a new mom like anything maternity underwear and pads um you can get this carry well pads at discam um baby saras or clicks i bought this once um got 29 rand and they are 12 inside so because i was admitted at hospital at 34 weeks i took i've used i think three of them but I, I don't think I need a lot because they're only going to be used at the hospital. So they look like this inside. Um, so you don't need a panty to wear this because it doesn't even have glue at the bag. So it doesn't even have wings. So meaning you're just going to put it there like this and you can sleep with it without an underwear. How cool is that? It's very comfy. Um... I've never had any conveniences and it's very protective so I didn't get any leakages whatsoever because I had a minor bleeding but that's a story for another day. Also um, I bought maternity nursing bras. So I got this nursing bras at Woolies. Um, I've realized that not all Woolies have like a maternity or nursing bras only selected woolies um if you don't know what um a nursing bra is I'm, I'm just gonna quickly show you what it looks like okay so it's a normal bra let me just do this so it comes in two packs about this nothing sexy about nursing honestly so you're not gonna find a lingerie nursing bra so <laughs> this is the basic that you can get um it's a bra, but what's different about it? Um, let me just sh give you a sh uh, shonyan as to how you wear it. So you're going to wear it like a normal bra. Um, the convenience here. The convenience here is that um, you can just unstrap it like this when you want to nurse the baby. So you're just going to do this and then you can nurse the baby. And then put on your um, a nursing pad because I don't know if I'll be leaking or whatsoever. So you can put on a nursing pad here and then um, clip it back again, you know. So it's very convenient. Other than having to take the entire bra off and nurse the baby, where you can just um, clip and then ta, nurse the baby and then done. So also carry well has um maternity bras i think for 200 200 and something i bought this one's 309 or 209 for a two pack of them um also what i'll be having i haven't packed my bag yet and i don't know why because the doctor advised me to pack my bag because at 34 weeks i thought i was giving birth honestly i was in a panic mode because i didn't pack uh, the baby's bag. I didn't pack my bag. It was it was a maza, honestly. So in my bag, what I'm gonna pack? It's an overnight dress. It's a gown, slippers, socks, a lip balm. Because like honestly, your lips would get dry. I've experienced it. I didn't pack anything the last time. Well, I was not having a baby. It was just a false alarm. But my lips were dry the whole time, and um, your bathroom thing is that you're going to use your toilet paper your toothbrush um nursing bras also compulsory i advise you to pack them and everything that you're going to need like your magazines your charger your phone so that you can like keep busy after maybe if the baby's sleeping after the delivery and whatsoever so you can hear how i'm running out of breath as i speak but i'm soldiering on so yeah guys that's what's in the hospital the baby's hospital bag and my hospital bag i hope that it helps you if like you didn't have a clue as to what to pack 
at most clinics and most hospitals they give you a list of what's needed and i'll advise you that if you haven't packed by 30 weeks or 34 weeks please do so because anytime <laughs> anytime is tea time so it's best when you ready and yeah you're good to go you know there's nothing missing you have everything that you need so yeah guys that's the end of the video i hope you really liked it and if you do if you did <laughs> please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe because subscribing is absolutely free and please comment down below um about what we talked about in the intro and also if there's something that i've left out in my hospital bag or the hospital uh the baby's hospital hospital bag please let me know in the comment down section below from my heart to yours it's all love thank you very much for watching bye